Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Jamie Beth. Today we're gonna talk about haunted islands. I know, I of course, again, came up with this idea for a video because I was, you know, falling down the rabbit hole of scary stories one night and I came across this article about desert islands that were extremely haunted. So I thought that I would do a video on that and this is what we're going to do. This is where we are now. So we're going to begin with Sicily and I'm actually going to do my eyes first today. So that's why you're seeing me do this right now. So in Sicily, there is the Capuchin Catacombs of Palermo and it is a place where the living meet the dead. Its passageways are lined with skulls and bones, almost kind of like the um, Paris catacombs. So these walls and passageways and whatnot are lined with skulls and bones, as well as 45 naturally mummified intact bodies. And then there is the eerie, serene face of two-year-old Rosalina Lombardo, who rests in a glass coffin after being so well embalmed in 1920 that she appears to be sleeping. Isn't that crazy? Santa Catalina. There are said to be so many ghosts on this island, 20 miles off the coast of Los Angeles, that those who dabble in the supernatural claim that it's an energy portal draws spirits back there. Ghost tours of Catalina detail all of the creepy occurrences on this island that's otherwise pretty much a paradise. The Art Deco style Catalina Casino is reportedly haunted by a worker who died during its construction. He's been seen in the men's restroom and an elderly woman in a white robe and she appears on the mezzanine level women's bathroom. I don't know what it is with spirits and bathrooms, but they like to um, frequent those apparently. Western author Zane Gray's ghost has been spotted walking along the streets of Avalon. And the spirit of actress Natalie Wood, who drowned just offshore, is said to roam the beach and two harbors. So we are moving on to Oahu and Night Marchers. Legend has it that they're the spirits of ancient Hawaiian warriors who walk the streets carrying torches. And whatever you do, do not look at these ghosts if you see them marching along the streets of Oahu. Factor in the choking ghost of Waikiki who attacks you in your sleep, you might be convinced that Oahu is a seriously devilish island. Even the Hilton Hawaiian Village is said to be haunted by a young woman in a red dress. Moving along to Jamaica. So one of Jamaica's ghosts is so celebrated that she has Montego Bay Golf Course and a 1973 Johnny Cash song named after her. Annie Palmer, known as the White Witch of Rose Hall, is an island legend. She is said to have been a cruel early 19th century plantation owner who tortured her slaves and murdered her three husbands. <clears throat> At nighttime, ghost tours of Rose Hall Great House in Montego Bay are popular. Whether Annie was real and now haunts the mansion is up for debate, um, although she was real, but the legend perhaps wasn't so real. Creepy occurrences have been reported at the Annie Hall Great House. Moving along to Nevis. Known for its mellow vibe and mischievous green vervet monkeys, Nevis is a 35 square mile tropical Eden. Except at the Eden Brown Estate, where a tragic turn of events at a wedding almost 200 years ago has purportedly cursed the property ever since. Details vary among locals who perpetuate the tale, but a dispute between the groom and his best man resulted in a duel to the death for both the groom and the best man. The distraught bride-to-be is said to haunt the abandoned sugar plantation now in ruins. The Isle of Skye is next. Skye is home to the Dunvegan Castle, where friendly, music-loving ghosts perform melody 
where friendly music loving ghosts perform melodies um, with no musical instruments and play bagpipes in the South Tower. So this castle is reportedly home to um, four ghosts. One is the tortured soul of Hugh McDonald, who was left in the dungeon to starve to death. And then the home of a housemaid who accidentally dropped a clan chief's son out of the window. You can hear this housemaid crying in anguish. Moving along to Tasmania. This Australian island has a tortured history. It was a <clears throat> brutal 19th century British colony in which created a bunch of creepy lore. Visitors can hunt for apparitions in the prison cells and autopsy rooms at Port Arthur Historical Site where a thousand inmates died over a 47 year period. And then there's the island's resident Tasmanian devils whose screams are enough to give anyone nightmares. Moving along to Holland Island in Maryland. When you think of Chesapeake Bay, you think of um, beach houses, an insanely long bridge and tunnel, and crab. However, the bay was once home to an island called Holland Island, which was inhabited up until 1922. The reason for this island's evacuation was due to nothing else but natural causes. The island simply sunk. The combination of erosion and continuous deterioration caused the island to slowly break apart and fall into the bay. While those nearby could only watch the five mile island slowly disappear, as of, 19, or as of 2010, there is nothing left of the homes that once existed. Next, we're gonna talk about the Cumberland Islands in Georgia. While Cumberland Island doesn't have an incredibly sordid past, it does hold a bit of mystery. The island, which was actually one of Georgia's barrier islands, was once home to a vacation home owned by the Carnegie family. This mansion was called the Dungeness House, and while it was a grand structure for some time, it eventually burned down in 1959. The mystery of it all is that it's unclear whether the fire was set intentionally or not. Today, the ruins, as well as the island, remain open for all who wish to visit it. And our last story today is the Antipodes Island in New Zealand. While many have tried, the Antipode Islands have been branded as uninhabitable. This is due to the harsh climates it's prone to, as well as strong winds, making it nearly impossible for any human to sustain life there. The islands are also the cause of many shipwrecks, of which the most recent occurred in 1999. While no one has ever actually survived a move there, visitors can witness huts that have been left behind, complete with survival supplies from those who have made the attempt. Now, I know the last few stories weren't like super duper scary or super haunted, but they are creepy um, if you want to visit them, which you can other than the one that sunk completely into the, the bay. You can't really visit that unless you want to go scuba diving, I guess. But anyways, that is our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, as well as the notification bell next to it to be notified of all of the upcoming videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you.